Okay, so I watched 9-11 a few nights ago, and this is the Mark Berg produced film, the long-term producer of the Saw franchise. It also stars Charlie Sheehan from Two and a Half Men. And before I get into talking about this movie, uh, I just want to say, you know, the real-life events behind this movie uh, are very tragic and heartbreaking, and I feel sorry for all of the families involved. But when talking about this movie, I'm not going to be so much talking about the real-life event itself. I'm going to be purely basing this on a movie, you know, is it well directed? Is it well acted? Is the suspense good? You know, all of that. I'm not really, you know, going to be getting getting too much into detail with what actually went down that uh, fatal morning. And you know, I want to start this off by saying, you know, I really dug this movie. Like, I really fucking dug this movie. Um, I've I thought this was like a very solid film, and it's a very unique. Uh, presentation to present its story. This this has some very unique storytelling in it because you know you're not actually this isn't you know like a big budget you know 911 you know production here. You know this is a film you know that's made on probably you know, a few million dollars and what I loved about that is it's based purely from the perspective of our victim. And, you know, and they're stuck in an elevator. The elevator, you know, has shut down. You know, they can't go anywhere. That They can't move. And outside this elevator, you know, like, you know, you know, they can hear explosions. And, you know, like the building's moving. And so, you know, they know something's up. But they just don't know what is happening. Because there's very little contact that goes down, uh, like, outside of the elevator in this film. And, you know, that's what I really liked because it creates a sense of isolation. It creates a sense of claustrophobia. And that's what I really liked about this movie is I think it really captures the... It really captures a, like, a sense of what that morning would have looked like to a lot of people. And I think this, that's what I really liked is this story feels a lot more grounded than I would say most you know, 9-11 based films. And, you know, Charlie Sheen, I thought, was, you know, really, really good in this movie. And I think it's a lot scarier when your film is purely based on sound design. Like, the characters, you know, are hearing, you know, are hearing, you know, the plane, you know, hit the building and all of that. Um, and, you know, you're hearing the plane hit the building, but you don't actually see it. And, you know, I really like how this film kind of balanced between, like, inside the building and the outside world and how they're responding to this at this time. You know, like, you know, it's being broadcasted, you know, on TV, you know, everywhere. And, you know, you're seeing a lot of people, you know, you know, you know cry. And I think all of the emotion that this film captures, I think it does it, you know, really, really well. Um... But then saying that, saying that, I think there's a few parts in this movie where it does feel slow. Where there's characters that are just, you know, sitting around, they're not talking to each other, and there's like a good five minute sequence of that, and it just feels like clutter then. And I guess my other problem with the film is there's this... You know, there's, I guess, this... Fuck, how would I refer to it? Like, there's this, I guess, romance story kind of going on. And, you know, I don't think that was needed. I think there's a lot bigger things to worry about than your marriage at this point. I think your survival, you know, comes first. And, you know, there's this discussion and, you know, there's this argument that kind of bursts out in the elevator. And, you know... So, and it's like... It's not even a part of the main story. It's like, it's a subplot that they have to purely make this film an hour and a half. And while I can see why it's there, because, you know, those two characters are stuck in the elevator together, and, you know, it's going to be mentioned, you know, at some point in the film again. And, you know, it's going to be like this, this redemption arc for Charlie Sheen's character and his wife. 
um, and and all of that. And then by the end of the film, it's like you know, like they're kind of you know, they have more, they have more like love for each other. Like they see the importance in it and all that. And you know, so yeah, I can definitely see what the director was going for it. But I just felt like the way that story was executed, I just felt like yeah, there was way too much time given to it. And you're focused on only these characters that are trapped inside the elevator. You're not really seeing, you know, like anyone else, uh, you know, from outside the elevator. And this film, you know, it reminds me a lot of that film, uh, Devil. Like, in the way where, you know, it's these people, you know, trapped in, in an elevator. It's a, you know, it's a helpless, you know, situation. You know, you have no contact with the outside world and all of that and you know I think I think like that's what's really scary you know about this film is you know this elevator could fall like any second now and so you know I think the film has some great suspense I think it has great tension um also would yeah, the ending of this film is definitely sad while I don't think it's executed the best because it just kind of ends abruptly like you know how how it's going to end but it's like there was this alternate ending that the editor cut out because that's w what it kind of feels like because you know the camera is panning in to you know Charlie Sheen and then it just kind of cuts to the credits there's no real proper ending to this film. Once again, I can see what the director was going for with that ending. I just don't, it all comes down to execution here and I don't think it was executed well. But you know, I think this film, I think gets the tension right, it gets us the suspense right. I think they chose good enough actors here. Um, and you know, I think there's so a lot of emotional moments in this film where they there's this one scene I really like in the film where they contact their partners and th this is like the last time they're ever going to be speaking to them and you know like it's this really like emotional scene for each character and I think each character is given that important scene in the film and you know like I, I really like that I think they utilize most of their characters in this film and you know yeah like you know like I, I like I like it wouldn't I would, it wouldn't be right to say I had a good time with this film like I think this is a very sad story and I think the film definitely you know utilizes that that this is not a film that's you know that you're going to have you know fun with or enjoy you know this is a film that you're supposed to watch and you're, you're it's you, the experience like you know so you know I'm, I'm trying to you know, figure out my my wording here for how to describe this but I think what the director is going for with this movie is it's trying to really put you in the headspace of one of the victims on that morning and at exactly what went down and you know I think that's something that we've never seen in a 9-11 you know based film before and you know, I really like that how the director is putting the audience like you it's like you know you're a character in this elevator and you know this, I, I really like that direction you know I really liked it uh, the writings not the greatest in the movie um, you know but but you know this is definitely a, a hard film to watch for sure um, but you know like I felt you know how it was executed as a film you know like this is probably one of the best representations of 9-11 that you will ever see 